Hardcore. Hey guys, watching Hardcore, and what would happen if the internet stopped working permanently? Well, you wouldn't be watching this or in fact any other YouTube videos whatsoever. Secondly, this becomes completely useless. Not only this, literacy would be at an all-time high, and we probably not need to talk to each other through Facebook anymore. There are approximately 2.4 billion users of the internet. 70% of them actually use the internet every single day. In fact, every minute of the day, there are 48 hours of YouTube videos uploaded, 204,166,667 emails sent, over 2 million Google searches, 684,478 shares on Facebook, $272,070 spent, 100,000 tweets, and 47,000 app downloads. That's in one minute. Of those 2.4 billion users, 44% actually come from Asia, and 78% of North Americans use the internet every single day. Every single year, the internet uses about 400 terawatts of energy. To put that in perspective, that's enough power to run 5.3 trillion laptops, 1.3 trillion 25-inch color TVs, and enough power to run 200 billion microwaves on full capacity. Now, some people out there are gonna tell me, Sean, it's impossible to stop the internet, and well, that's largely true. You can't just stop the internet because it's not one system. It's a whole complex of separate networks which each work independent. Now, it's not like changing your IP address's password and hoping your neighbor doesn't find out. It's very, very, very complicated. And in fact, it is possible though. In January 2011, the Egyptian government actually stopped the internet. They did this by changing the domain name. This stopped all the riots that were going on in the time. But this isn't the only way you can stop the internet. In fact, there are several ways. Firstly, a group of hackers, and I mean a really big group of hackers, can actually go into the mainframe and stop it completely. Secondly, space weather. That's an interesting one which can disrupt all of the network around the entire world. And natural disasters have been known to actually cause cables to disrupt and destroy. This stops the internet in total. It's highly unlikely that the internet shutting down would lead to a widespread disaster of apocalyptic scales. What's more likely to happen is that the internet shutting down would cause fragility. You see, Humans have survived for thousands of years without the internet, and in fact, until 1990, there was no such thing as the internet. So we'd survive, but it'd be a massive inconvenience. Humans have never been so intertwined into a system. Financially, socially, and industrially, experts suggest that if the internet were to shut down, it would be the equivalent of a natural disaster hitting. It's highly unlikely that if the internet shut down, we'd see an apocalypse like we'd all think. Most likely, what would happen is that we'd lose a lot of jobs. Google, eBay, Amazon, and any other social website you can think of are industries in themselves. If they close, thousands of jobs just go missing from the market, and they're irreplaceable. The government would be pressured to put in funds to try and replace those jobs, and this would make it a very, very fragile environment for people to live in. Socially, we've become inept. We rely too much on Facebook and Twitter and other social media that we don't know how to talk to people anymore. The internet shutting down would make things ridiculously awkward. We wouldn't be able to just send a message to our friends, we'd have to go up there and confront them ourselves. But this isn't just a bad thing, it's also a good thing. I was joking before, but literacy would go up. We would speak English instead of bingo. We'd do things actually better and we'd be able to go outside more often. Today I've spoken about hypotheticals. It's not impossible for the internet to be switched off, but what is impossible is for it to stay down. There are a lot of people in the world that can put the internet back online, even if it's wiped out. And this can happen in 15 minutes, let alone a year. So for these facts to actually come into action, for us to lose so much money or for us to be so fragile, we'll have to go down for years, let alone minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your opinions in the comments section below. If you like the video and want to see more, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.